Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here in my nice little scenic filming spot. Got some trees, got some grass. Definitely have a bunch of bugs all over the place because we have the OG of Supreme Off-Roaders. What is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is the updated, slightly updated and refreshed 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, but ours is that 4xE. But before we get into this plug-in electric version of the ultimate Jeep off-roader, let's talk about what's going on here. A lot of changes going on in the industry. Jeep really surprised a lot of people with bringing the 4xE to market a couple years ago. And we were there for the first media drive. Having a plug-in electric hybrid Jeep really opened up my eyes of what was capable, not only with the Wrangler platform, but when you add that electric motor and lithium ion battery pack. Now, what's fascinating is that, of course, the industry is on fire going towards electrification. But what I want to find out is, should you be buying one of these new refreshed 2024 Jeep Wranglers or should you go with another OG when it comes to Supreme off-roading? Who would that be? That's going to be the Toyota 4Runner. Obviously, the 4Runner really hasn't been changed much over the years some slight little things but it's still going strong so let's go ahead let's find out how you should do your off-roading and if it should be with this new jeep wrangler let's go ahead and dive in right off the bat the color probably one of my favorite colors in their palette called hydro blue and that's something that jeep does very very well is they create this nice personality right off the bat with simply the colors of the vehicle. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna see some of the existing stuff, but some of the changes. Of course, we're gonna have full LED lighting. We got those LED turn signals built in to the fenders with that nice classic fender flare style with the hydro blue, some flat black, and then you'll notice the traditional round buckets where those headlights reside going back for so many decades full led headlights a little bit of this gunmetal gray finish and then where's one of the changes it's right here that is an updated revised seven slotted grill so the traditional grill shape of the wrangler and of the jeep brand has a nice refresh i like the way they kind of bended and folded it up towards the hood area. Of course, you're still gonna get that forward-facing camera, your camera washer, and then one of the additions that I think is so smart to get right from the factory is gonna be this worn winch. So obviously, lots of power to pull any forerunner out of the quicksand, out of the mud, off of the rocks. And then of course, because this is a four by E, you're gonna notice some blue accents. So we have our massive tow hooks up front with that full stamp steel bumper. And then working our way down, I like the way they carve out these areas. Don't put a bunch of plastic, just carve them open and you're gonna have those round traditional fog lamps. And then I'm liking the bumperettes that they put, just so you're not messing up this beautiful stamp steel bumper. Now, as we come across the front of this thing, you're gonna notice a lot of ground clearance. This thing could go through about three feet of water almost. And what's fascinating is that if you're worried, well, Joe, am I gonna get electrified because this is a plug-in electric hybrid? No, the battery is totally sealed. And when we went off-roading with Jeep, we actually went and drove down this creek where the water was almost up to the doors. So I lived to tell the tale, so will you. But you got plenty of ground clearance. Of course, we got the two-speed transfer case and we have that Supreme 4x4 power getting to the ground. As we rise back up, you have that classic hood. We still have our latches on the exterior, and I like the way we have the anti-glare strip, and I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around just a little bit and show you the light blue. Remember, that's for the 4 by e You could still, of course, get your Wrangler in a traditional internal combustion engine setup, but when you go 4 by e you get the blue accents. I like the heat extractors on the hood, and then as we swing it out wide, what are we getting on this? Technically, this is a Rubicon X, if you want to be technical, 4 by e Here's what we have with our wheel and tire sub. So you're going to get these off-road style wheels. Love the way they have the GI Jeep right there going all the way back to World War II. 
the machined aluminum bits all the way around, and then you have a satin, sort of like snowflake design. And of course, if you're going to be off-roading, you want these BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 tires. These things grapple rocks just like a UFC fighter grapples their opponent on the mat. But I think the style with that beefed up tire, and if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of this? I know you're probably asking yourself, what is the size of this tire? You're looking at a 33 inch tire, 285 on the width, and then a beefy 70 series sidewall with all the shielding protection. Steven's gonna show off the suspension and how they reworked everything on the Rubicon to give us that extra lift, to give us more ground clearance, and give us that confidence no matter what the surface is doing. Of course, you're gonna have your Rubicon badge on the side with the light blue outlining everything. We have our trail rated badge. This is totally trail rated. No other brand could claim that. Jeep Wrangler on the side. Another thing you're gonna notice, what's not there? No side antenna anymore. So the antenna is actually built into the windshield. And what they did very smart is that the opening where the antenna would mount on the fender is now where they place the trail rated badge. Talk about being smart with the little things. You're gonna have your flat black mirror caps. Doors are totally removable. Roof is removable. We do have the optional power top, which I can't wait to show you that when we get to the interior. I think a Jeep Wrangler looks best personally when it's four doors. I like my Broncos two doors and I like my Jeeps four doors. It's got a nice balanced proportion. You're gonna get those full frame sliders on the bottom. Cause remember, we wanna protect all the inner bits. Working our way towards the back, nice painted fenders. I think that really goes well with this particular Wrangler 4xE. And then swinging it out wide, what do we got going on? That same great classic style. The way they do the taillights, it's meant to simulate the fuel tanks on the back of a World War II Willys Jeep. Of course, you got your mounted spare, and then you do have some badges on the back. We do have a four by E badge, and I like the way they did the E. It's like a plug-in because this is a plug-in electric hybrid. And then working our way all the way down, you got your bright blue tow hook, and of course, this is fully tow capable. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk power about this Rubicon. All right guys, we got the hood pop. Now of course, we're comparing this to the 4Runner and when you look at the styling, you see a lot of the familiar sights of what a Jeep is known to look like. Same thing with a 4Runner, but I think Jeep has been more successful with the evolution overall, especially when we look underneath the hood. You do have a prop rod, I'm not gonna zonk it because that's just classic Jeep style and Jeep functionality. Underneath the hood is probably gonna surprise you. So on the 4Runner, you're still getting that tried and true V6. Well, like I said, on the Wrangler, you have multiple engine options, including the 392, which we brought to you not too long ago. But what do we have on this 4xE? That's a two liter inline four turbocharged engine paired with the electric motors, two electric motors, 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. That's as much as the V8, guys. So those of you that are laughing that this has a four banger underneath the hood, with those electric motors, it's serious business. It's made it to that torque flight, eight-speed automatic transmission. It's got a 14 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack, totally watertight. 21 miles of pure EV. So if you want to drive pure EV, go off-roading pure EV, 21 miles, zero to 60, 5.4 seconds. The only other Jeep Wrangler faster is the Rubicon 392. Gas and electric gives you 49 MPG ease when you look at gas and electric combined. If you want to know how long does it take to charge, Two hours on a level two charger, which is the 240, 12 hours on a level one charger, which is the 120, and the vehicle weighs 5,318 pounds. So nice to see the flexibility with the different engines, especially with the technology, which of course the 4Runner does not offer any plug-in electric hybrid, let alone hybrid, let alone any other option. And remember, it still has a five-speed automatic. Just pointing that out. But while we go ahead, let's fire this up and see it in motion.
All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Wrangler Rubicon X 4xE. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm so glad that you're doing this review because I'm on the fence. Do I go with the tried and true 4Runner that I know that I could put easily three bazillion miles on it and it'll keep on rocking? Or should I try the OG of off-roading that's got the newer technology, especially this plug-in electric hybrid? I don't, I'm not sure I know what to do yet. I'm not gonna decide until we get to the end of the review, but how much is this Wrangler? Very good question and good, smart decision to wait and not rush into anything. MSRP, the way that you see this particular one, is $76,000. Just to give you an idea, that worn wench is $2,000. That's a, that's an option, $2,000 option. So let's see what you get for the money to the removable door panel. Nice, clean design, soft touch material. I like when you go four by E, you're gonna get the blue contrast stitching. You do have a cargo net. I'm not gonna zonk it because they are on the removable doors and you could easily put 24 individual off-road Twinkies in that cargo net. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, one thing you're gonna notice between this and the 4Runner are the nicer materials. I mean, the stitching is great, especially the blue stitching. Me, personally, I would like to see all cohesive stitching. So, I know the blue is for 4 by e Would be nice to have blue stitching everywhere. So, I'll give that a half a zonk, because this other stitching is still very nice, especially on the old crap handle. You got a little bit of blue anodized color there. And then as you slide across, this is the other big change. Bigger, I think, than the grill, of course. This is the all new 12.3 inch infotainment system. Look at how cleanly they integrated it. Even kept the AC vents. You connect five system, you already know what that system does. And if you don't, watch one of my older Jeep Dodge Chrysler ram videos because i'll show you all about that i want to show you the specifics with the jeep well first of all you hit the jeep icon which is nice now look at this you could actually record your trail so let's say you're just riding around you're you're reminiscing about the days like i remember i used to get on my bike my friends and i would get on our bikes and just ride and ride and ride and then go home and then the next day we kind of forgot where we went you could actually record where you went especially if you find a really good trail you could access your forward-facing camera very easily. One of my zonks is I wish the camera took up more space. I already know I'm in a Jeep. I mean, you spent the money, you spent the 76 grand and got a Jeep, but I, I would like a little bit more room and I like the way it's got the trajectory for the tires. And you could go out the front or you could go out the back and you got your trajectory very simple. Now, if I go back, let me show you some of the other touches. We got adventure guides. Let's say you're new to off-roading and you don't know what's in your area, look at this, it actually tells you what's in your area, and here's my favorite part, easy, moderate, difficult. That to me is worth the price of admission, and I like the way it's got over 2,000 trails mapped into the system. So that really is smart, and that's what the Wrangler and the Jeep family is all about. Because think about it, haven't you ever had that one time that you had a friend that said, hey, I know a good trail, and they let you know where it is, and, but they didn't tell you it was difficult, and you got stuck, and then you had to have a helicopter airlift you out. That's not fun. And then the last piece of the puzzle I want to show you are the off-road pages. Look at the graphics, steering angle, your transfer case, I'll let you know if it's locked, unlocked. You got accessory gauges, all the important readouts, your pitch and roll, and then of course you could get your front uh, camera again. So very easy to do, all your AC controls, you could do in the screen, but here's the great news. If you have a phobia of screens, look at what we have, real switches and knobs. For the dual climate control, you got three stages of heated seats, you got your hill descent control, you can actually shut the screen off if you want to. Heated steering wheel, working it way down even more. We got more plug-in, capability than they had at, than they have at Best Buy. USB-C, USB-A, aux jack, 12 volt. You got all your window switches. This is gonna control that eight speed automatic. You got your auxiliary switches for more accessories like lighting and maybe a big old air horn or a siren. You could do your sway bar disconnect, all of that easy within your fingertip. And I love the way they got the classic lever to go into your four x four system. Much different than what you find on the Forerunner. Two cup holders for your Yeti cans, mechanical e-brake, 
Love the way they do the Jeep key fob. Very sturdy, just like the Jeep itself. You do have remote start. Super soft material, stitching all the way around. Lift it up, you got yourself, this is the tool kit to remove the doors and everything. I like the way they give you that so you don't have to go down to you know Home Depot or something. I would say go to Sears, but they don't have a Sears anymore. I remember the days of going to get Craftsman tools. And then, of course, you could easily put, I would say, one softball in there. Maybe you had it signed by your girlfriend who was a star softball player back when you were in high school and then she dumped you for a baseball player because you were a Dungeons and Dragons master and she wasn't down with that anymore. She said she was cool with it, but then she changed her mind. Like, WTF, good riddance to her. I would say take the baseball, maybe throw it at her the next time you see her. But you didn't hear that from me. I don't believe in committing violence like that. Seats, the leather, the stitching, the Rubicon embroidery, nice blue because we're in the four by E, all the way down. You do have 12 way adjustable power seats for the passenger and the driver. And then I promised you one more thing. Looky, looky, we got that power sky top. Cloth folds open so seam seamless. That is another pricey option. That's around $3,100 added to the price. If you're wondering, well, how the hell did we get the 76 grand? Two and 35 about? So you're looking at around almost 5,500 bucks right there, just in two things. But why don't you come over here? I want to show you behind the wheel in this 4x8. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this Wrangler 4x8. Now, one of the things that's interesting is getting in and out is a little tighter than a Forerunner, just because of the way the removable doors are and whatnot. But let's take a look at the pedal box. Pedal box is a pretty good amount of space. The one Zonk I have, there's no dead pedal. And to me, that's crazy to think to go off-roading, especially if you're going rock crawling without a dead pedal. So that is a Zonk, but we do have the Jeep branded all weather protection on the floor mats. That's worth an additional five horsepower. We got 12 way adjustable seats, plenty of room in here. And if you need more room, just fold back the top or you can just remove everything if you're really that tall. Steering wheel, I've always liked the wheels. Great quality leather, like the way they did the blue stitching, flat black on all the switch gear. It is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then I do like the balance of analog and digital gauges. So you have an analog charge gauge and power gauge. Your uh, tachometer is analog. Everything else is gonna be digital and you could scroll through a cornucopia of information. I mean, look at this. I love the way it's full color. The graphics are nice and clear. All of that information at your fingertips. So that's a really nice setup, especially when you look at what the 4Runner is bringing. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because I'm ready to go for a drive in this 4 by All right, guys, before I show you the back seat, Steven's gonna show off the charge port door. Nice, rugged looking charge port door location. That's where you're gonna plug in for the plug-in electric hybrid component of this. No, you don't have to plug in, but you should to get the full range of this vehicle. A lot of people buy plug-in electric hybrids and they drive them like regular hybrids, which is kind of weird because you're not getting the full use of the extra money you spent. Now, the backs of the seats, you do have some leather. You got some plastic kick panels here for your kids so they don't get the mud and, and dead animal guts all over the back of the seat. You can clean it off. We do have a cargo net. That's where you're gonna put a box of Girl Scout cookies, maybe some Thin Mints, maybe some Tagalongs. And then in the command center here, you do have rear AC, your window switches in the center. You do have not just two USB-Cs, but also two USB-As and a home power source. Plus they got a little bit of area down here for some Jolly Ranchers, maybe some uh, Yorks peppermint patties, those little thin ones you could kind of drop in there. I like the room in here, but like I said, it's just it's a little bit tighter for sure than the Toyota 4Runner. But let's get into the cargo area because like I said, I want to go with this Wrangler. Yeah, it's time to get in the cargo area. Just like any other Jeep Wrangler, you're going to pull that door open, easily ac uh, have access to the back, or you can lift up the rear glass and that's going to give you even more room. Now those seats do fold down, 60-40 split. You'll notice that huge subwoofer for our Alpine sound system. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of cargo room do we have? You're basically looking at 28 cubic feet of space with the seats up, fold the seats down, then you're gonna be able to maximize everything. What's underneath 
the cargo floor. Look at what we have here. It's special. Dun, 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 dun. There's your whole plug-in setup for the plug-in electric hybrid component of this 4xe and a nice travel case with the 4xe logo. That's worth an extra five horsepower. It's got to be, got to be worth an extra five horsepower, maybe an extra five miles of range. And then you just zip it up just like, ah. so flip it down. You got the space. You got your 12 volt on the back, which is nice. And then of course you have that full roll bar set up because everything is removable. Unlike a, unlike a forerunner, you can't remove anything. This, you could take everything off. And I like the nice little extra touch where they put this uh, almost like a VIN plate there with all the graphics and everything. But why don't we go ahead? I'm sure you're curious. I'm sure you're thinking how good is this Jeep? Let's go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little spin in our Wrangler. All right, guys, we are in this 2024 Wrangler Rubicon 4xe. Gonna do a little bit of easy off-roading, uh, not too far from my house. Obviously, this is just scratching the surface. These Wranglers, especially the 4xe Rubicon, is gonna open up your eyes to what the capabilities are i mean we have done rock crawling we've done all sorts of crazy things at media drives where they take us to these faraway lands like moab and they handle supreme so why don't we go ahead and let's do some off-roading i do have it in four high we're gonna keep it there for right now but if you're ready i'm ready on throttle here we go so as you can see the suspension the tires everything is just so well laid out in here and just makes it totally capable totally fun to where you don't have to worry about getting stuck and that's what makes a jeep a jeep i mean the quality of the suspension and how everything just operates very very well is phenomenal it's just really nice the way that the feedback is it's very communicative and with the new infotainment system like if I was to find a trail right now, which I feel like I'm going to, I could be leaving those breadcrumbs and then go back and run the same trail. And that's what's fantastic about this whole setup with the Jeep Wrangler, especially the Rubicon 4xe. But if you're wondering, well, Joe, am I gonna feel like there's enough power? Yes, you're definitely gonna feel like there's enough power from the electric motors, from of course, the two liter inline four turbocharged engine and just really, just so easy to navigate. I mean, even through some of these tighter places, the proportions of the Jeep are, are well done. And like I said, that's why when it comes to, say getting uh, a Bronco and getting a four door, I feel like the Bronco and a four door is just too big. It's just too big. But this really is just right especially when you're just going down some nice off-road trails. And then of course, what you could do is, I'm gonna go full electric. So right now it's switching. I'm in full EV mode right now. So we have no engine on, no internal combustion engine, just the electric motor. And this is what's cool about it is that, I know it may sound dorky, but I kind of got it when I went on my first media drive, it really, puts you one with nature. You know, if, if you're really that Jeep enthusiast that loves doing Jeep things, but also loves nature, what better way to explore it than to do it in total silence? So you're not disrupting the animals that maybe live out here in this neck of the woods. So totally EV power, no issue. And then going through the sugar sand, which is very popular around here in Florida, going over the crest, like I said, doing it full EV style. And that's the thing I love about this is that you put it in EV save mode, save the juice for when you get to the trails. Isn't that smart? And then do your whole trail experience not using a drop of gas. And the best part is I personally didn't charge this. I've just been driving it around on the street in e-save and when i have the regen braking on 
it allows me to recharge that battery. Going through some water, yeah, going through the water, going through the mud, piece of cake. Through this little whoop section. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. This is, you know, it's like I get it. Once, once you get into a Jeep, and you and you drive a jeep you get it it makes sense all right guys one more time for you one more time for me then we're gonna hit the asphalt and give you a urban jungle driving impression with this wrangler 4 by e by here we go on throttle now when you go on throttle in pure ev mode once you go fast enough the engine kicks on but then it shuts off once the speed drops down just something to be aware of we got this whoop section here. Look at this. Down in the mud. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do Jeep things. That's the funness of a Jeep. I would not be able to do this in my Shelby GT350R. It just wouldn't happen. It's just really cool <laughs> to share this experience and definitely grateful for Kimberly over at Jeep for hooking me up with a 4x especially the 2024 version. I mean, look at this. And then, like I said, you wanna have the hybrid component? Now I got the engine back on. Look at this, here we go. Here we go, up and over, up and over. <laughs> uh, very easy to steer, very easy to navigate. I mean, look at this, I'm off the beaten trail and I'm just like, we're going through it. We're just going through it. Just love being able to share these different experiences with you as we're driving around, doing our thing in this Rubicon. There we go, yeah! <laughs> this is what's fun, you know? We're not, we're not obviously doing a burnout, but it's a lot of fun to just go off-roading and see what the vehicle is capable of. I mean, look at this. It's really, really a ton of fun and really capable. All right, guys, we are now gonna hit the road and that's what's great about this 4xE is the usability on-road and off-road. I'm gonna go ahead and go from four high to put it into two-wheel drive. So we have that real-wheel drive action and that's what I love about the Jeep Wrangler as well is having that manual 4x4 controller, but very smooth, very composed. I mean, it does a really, really good job. You got your amenities, you got the new infotainment system that's easy, so easy to work through. Very, very um, intuitive, and it's got a lot of great functions. You Connect 4 was good, You Connect 5 is that much better. All right, guys, let's do it on throttle from a dead stop. Nobody's behind us. On throttle, here we go. Nice smooth shifts from the eight-speed automatic. And like I said before, zero to 60 in about 5.4 seconds. What's nice is the electric motors really cut down on the boost lag. And yes, you are gonna get more road noise from the off-road tires, and there's really not a lot of sound denting material in here, but that's part of the Jeep experience. And if you're looking for the tech, but you also want that great off-roading, I think this might be the better way to go than the 4Runner. I mean, the last thing the 4Runner added was an eight inch infotainment system screen. This, you have 12.3 inch, and you got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, all the different goodies. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review of what the Wrangler 4xE Rubicon is all about for 2024. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. I'll see you in a nanosecond. All right, guys, it's been a fun day, as it should be with any Jeep. Definitely wanna thank everybody over at Jeep and Stellantis for getting us access to this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE. Let me know what you think. Are you going with this Jeep? 
Are you gonna go with the Toyota 4Runner? I'm very curious to see what you're gonna say down in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up to the muscle behind the lens, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He wants to play a game, a tug of war between his Type R and this Rubicon using the winch. So we'll definitely get that on film because that's gonna be interesting. But get ready, Steven. We're gonna rock it and roll it. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.